Sasuke deserved to destroy the Leaf Village. Now what I just said may come off as a bit barbaric, but hear me out. I think in the context of the Naruto series, Sasuke wanting to destroy the Leaf Village after learning the truth about Itachi is completely justifiable to a certain degree. Crazy to think about since I initially didn't like Sasuke going in this direction, but over the years, I come to like how his character developed to this point. Once we knew Sasuke's goal to avenge his clan, we knew it can go one of two ways. Either he falls into the trope of realizing revenge is bad and goes about his ninja life dilly dallying, or he'd actually pull through and kill his older brother Itachi. Thanks to the influence of the series villain Orochimaru, he made sure that the later half would come true by tempting Sasuke with the dark side. Too bad that ended up with Orochimaru being laid out in half himself. Later on, he would complete his goal in killing his older brother, thinking he just cleansed the murkiness of the clan. So all should be good well afterwards, right? Right? WRONG! He found out that Itachi was a double agent for the village and was ordered to kill the Uchiha clan because of the elders of the Leaf. Now it was Itachi's wish to have Sasuke become the Uchiha hero of the Leaf, but Sasuke took matters into his own hands. He decided that his life was more precious than the village, given how Itachi made it seem like he loved Sasuke more than the village, which gave him the driving force to switch over his revenge to the Leaf. Now initially, I was sort of upset at Sasuke with this decision, I never understood logically why he would carry out an act like this, but eventually, it clicked for me that Sasuke was just a misguided child that was steered into the the wrong path. If you think about his upbringing with losing all his family members because of his siblings no less and him having to face against his sibling to the death, it's undeniable why he took it this far. Mainly because of Donzo, but the fact that the quote unquote lovable Hokage let all that slide is draining to say the least. In the context of Naruto, his actions are valid. Now I'm not saying one should seek revenge to satisfy their own needs, but I would get wanting to. What made it more apparent to me that this was expertly written was how it compares to Pain and his motives. In fact, what made Pain my favorite character in the show was the speech he gave to Naruto saying that that the cycle of hatred is bound to this accursed world due to people and their selfish desires. You can make the argument that the cycle of hatred that was formed for centuries was all catapulted to Sasuke and that what spews out of Sasuke is a direct result of that. Now what was really crazy to me was that near the end of the war arc, Sasuke decided to just rule with an iron fist being that he sees no one else fit to become the leader of the ninja world. Now that was when I was like what the freak Sasuke, but again, it clicked for me. All the villagers had something going for them that put them in a low regard, all having selfish ambition and desires that will continue the cycle cycle of hatred. While Sasuke's method was unorthodox, it was a solution that would have yielded results as he would have been everyone's punching back to a fault, but they wouldn't have been able to do anything and just bow down to Sasuke and his authority. Luckily though, Naruto was able to dismiss that line of thinking and bring him over to the light side of the ninja way, and while it was all good and dandy by the end of the show, I'd be curious to see what would have happened had Sasuke had free reign over his oppositions, and like I said, in the context of Naruto, it would have been completely justified. So what about you guys? Do you think that Sasuke was justified in wanting to destroy the village that led him down this path, or do you think the village was in the right to hide everything from Sasuke for the protection of the village? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm the Curly Hero Kage, and I hope you all have an amazing and blessed day. Peace.